So I'm just going to give a reminder on mentalism. The understanding that our minds create our reality is at the core of African spiritual philosophy. With this understanding, what do you think is the spiritual consequence of being subjected to continuous images and ideas from childhood that promote a negative self-image? The impact of a negative self-image can manifest itself in the following ways. Whilst the understanding of the law of attraction is largely well known and people are familiar with the use of vision boards with assisting to manifest what they desire into this reality, most people don't consider how this principle applies when it comes to racism and the continual projection of negative imagery. Attaching an emotion to a thought increases its potency. In the documentary Spirit is Eternal, Vusumazulu Kredo Mutwa goes on to say that using all of our senses when praying helps it to manifest into our physical reality. These types of emotions are generated each time these visuals are projected, maintaining the cycle of a negative self-image and assisting to manifest this in our reality. How does mainstream and social media maintain these images and evoke these emotions? Reinforcing the same negative imagery and ideas by promoting these concepts in TV, film, news and advertising. Social media is used to push certain narratives that maintain these concepts. Considering the amount of censorship and changes to the algorithms, being mindful of the type of content that goes viral. Celebrities are often used to maintain certain perspectives and narratives. Have you noticed how frequently race-related stories are promoted within the media? The dehumanisation of black people has been going on for centuries. The most recent example of this is the increasing amount of videos being shared online of people being murdered. This is very reminiscent of public lynchings where people would view for their own voyeuristic pleasure. We are now seeing the same thing played out in today's society as these videos are being widely shared and going viral. It is also important to note that despite all the restrictions on social media and censorship, where saying simple words can have your account blocked or restricted or closed down, these videos are being circulated widely and going viral without any form of consequence. This disturbing imagery is being shared globally on a daily basis without any regard for the individuals, families or viewers. It is important to take note of how such imagery can be damaging to the mind. So when these type of events happen, how do they make you feel? So here's a reminder. These emotions are generated each time these visuals are projected maintaining the cycle of a negative self-image and assisting to manifest the same things that we don't want. The In African spiritual thought, it is understood that speaking negatively about someone or projecting negative thoughts to them is a form of a spiritual attack. Our psyche is fed this type of narrative on a continual basis in multiple forms. Therefore, these external forces are able to control people's emotions and reactions by simply releasing headlines, video clips, articles and so forth, whether they are factual or not. Thus, remaining in a low vibrational state which keeps us reacting on emotion and not applying reasoning and strategy. So now I'm going to speak about solutions. Now we've recognized what's going on. How do we fix it? 